Um, Bridget Flagg, you are my first guest really? on my new spin-off show. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm really excited. I'm so happy to be here because I've heard lots of good things. So how did you come up with Soleil? Pretty much my mom and my grandmother passed away and we would always hang out at my grandmother's house. Like she was a great cook, right? I still haven't met anybody that can cook like her. So um, once they passed away, I started cooking. Um, just trying to keep the family together. The first thing I learned how to cook was string beans. So I would um, cook string beans every weekend and then I'll go buy the meats from a yes. store, like a, a chicken restaurant or something like that. So eventually I started um, branching out, playing with different recipes. And again, it was just, just to keep the family together because everybody started separating. Yeah. And, um, me and my friends, we had big house parties, and everyone's like, you can cook. You and should you, open up a restaurant. Yeah, and you even were um, selling food on Instagram, yeah. which is crazy because you can start your business almost anywhere. So can you talk a little bit about that, like selling your selling plates via Instagram? How did that all start? Yeah, so I started selling plates on Instagram wow. to see if people would like it. And you would just take photos of the food you would cook? Yeah, I would make a, a menu of my notes on my iPhone. <laughs> And I would, um, yeah, like I said, put the menu up and post it and say, this is what I'm cooking today. And people would call. I had my niece working my cell phone. I had my neighbors on the grill. I had the whole block working with me. Yes. And I would sell like 50 to 60 plates a day. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And this is, sounds like it's been, it was a generational gift that got passed down to you yeah. and you're obviously doing wonders with it because we're here now in your own restaurant so how does that all feel to finally see it come to pass like how, how does that feel to to walk in every day being your own boss <laughs> it feels good it feels good i always knew that i wanted to work for myself yeah so but it wasn't easy you know um i've had the space since 2016. i had to build the place out I didn't have uh, loans or anything, so I had to use like all my personal finances. Wow. So it kind of took me like a year and a half to build this place out. Was there ever a time when you almost felt like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, or I don't know where I'm gonna get these funds from, but you just kept going? Yeah. Was there ever a time you wanted to almost just give up? All the time. <laughs> it was so stressful. I don't know everyone just think like I just jumped off the porch and I just, Hey, it became this big, yeah. it started years ago. So it was like a lot of work, like a lot of sleepless nights. Yes. It was, it was bad, but it, I stuck <laughs> it out and I'm here today. Yes, and that's awesome because I think a lot of times people only see the, the highs. They only see, you know, so late. And they're like, oh, wow, you know, she did it. But they don't see the hard work, the grind, everything that it took to get, you know what I mean, to the top. I definitely went on a spiritual journey with this and asked God, like, hey, not only just do it for me, but do it with me. And yes. I am. So let's talk a little bit about the menu. I'm actually sipping on, what is this? Your the punch? punch. Okay. Do, can, can, I can you tell me the recipe or no? Is it like... No, it's like, a, <laughs> it's like uh, what we would call a suicide. So oh. It's like um, a Kool-Aid, a tea, and a lemonade. I like it. And it's really good for, you know, our Chicago summers as uh -huh. well. What's your favorite item on the menu? My favorite item yes. is the catfish. The catfish. Yeah. I don't do any frozen meats. I, don't, I, don't, I never like anything frozen, so I go out and get everything fresh every day. It's just... It's really good. It's like my number one seller. Everyone loves it. Any other item that um, are people's favorite? The salmon and shrimp. The salmon and yeah. shrimp. I love shrimp, so yeah. <laughs> I might have to try that. Yeah, so it's uh, mashed potatoes um, with salmon plated over it with the garlic cream spinach sauce that I make from scratch every day and they love it. And obviously you were originally the head chef and you still are. How, and I saw you back there telling them like, does it taste good? We might have to do it again, you know what yeah. I mean? So how was it, you know, going through the hiring process, finding people that could, I hope, cook as well as you? How I got some young guys in my kitchen. Okay. They all come from a program where um, they, some have been incarcerated. Okay. So they go through a 10 week program with this um, and they get their sanitation license. Nice. And I work with the program and I call them like, hey, I need some guys over here. Yeah. And I, I kind of like to train the guys is because one, I want to get them off the street. You know, they made mistakes mm -hmm. and 
you know, just want to give them a chance to get them off the street and they love it. I love that. I love that th there's also meaning to it. You're not just kind of bringing anyone in. Mm -hmm. You want to also change their lives as well. Yeah. So I really do like that. Yeah. So what's next? You're doing great. Is there anything, any like maybe pop-up shops coming up maybe next year? We're actually about to do a pop-up shop um, in a couple of weeks See? Uh, with the Hyatt. <laughs> okay. You know, they reached out to us. They're, um, they have a rooftop. Nice. The air is okay. um, 100 West Monroe. So we're going to be doing that um, in a few weeks, going on the rooftop twice a week um, for a couple of weeks. Also, we're working on a podcast in the future. Ooh. A podcast. Oh, I like that. And we're going to be teaching some ball players and rappers Ooh. how to cook. Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. And I know you do get a lot of ball players in here. I you do. have some elite customers coming in here. I'm so blessed. I'm like, how do these people find out about this place? <laughs> but I have my regulars like Bobby Portis, um, Antonio Blakeney, Cameron Payne when he was in town. Was there was there any one person that shocked you? Like, whoa. Um, Scotty Pippen, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, how did he hear about it? But yeah. You're doing awesome. And last question is, um, what does making it mean to you? Just having a peace of mind and being successful. You know, um, not always monetary. Like, success is not, like, always about money. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, putting other people in position to make a way and taking them out of a situation and putting them into a new by giving them jobs. That's, that's being successful to me. And that's making it.